Welcome back to Guitar Search Saturdays. My name's Shane. We're in the great city of Honolulu in Hawaii, checking out our second of the guitar shops that we're visiting while we're here. This is the Easy Music Center, located in Honolulu. Firstly, a huge thank you to Peter, the owner of the shop, for letting us do this walkthrough. I really appreciate it. If you do enjoy the series, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps. If we can get it to 1,000 thumbs up, that would be awesome. This video is not sponsored, by the way, so we pay our own way to get here and we love checking out guitar shops. A massive thanks to Rhiannon behind the camera for all her help with this particular series. This shop is stacked full of gear, so I think you'll get a kick out of what they have to offer. Let's go in and check it out. Easy Music Center is Hawaii's oldest musical instrument store. It's been locally owned and operated since 1939. Not only does Easy Music Center have a massive range of acoustic and electric instruments, they also stock everything from bass guitars, ukuleles, amplifiers, studio recording equipment, DJ and lighting, live sound, keyboards, percussion, drums, and much more. Easy Music Center has, without question, one of the largest ranges of electric and acoustic instruments I've seen anywhere. It's great to see a locally owned business of this magnitude. It's pretty cool. This is the Epiphone SG Prophecy in a Blue Tiger aged gloss finish. One of the things that makes this vastly different to a regular SG are the Fishman Fluence pickups. These Fishman Fluence pickups, in combination with the push-pull controls on the guitar, give you three different voicings for each of the pickups. The first option is a traditional style PAF pickup. Secondly, you get the option of a high output humbucker, so that's made for those who play more progressive sort of music. And there's also a split coil option. We had a chance to test out a few of these Epiphone prophecies in the context of a band mix, and if you missed that video, I'll leave it up in the cards. Here we have maybe the most identifiable Ibanez guitar of all time, the Ibanez RG. This is the hardtail version in both sparkle pink and sparkle green. The Ibanez RG can be found in a hardtail and tremolo version as well, so if you want to use a whammy bar, they have that option available. What makes the Ibanez RG really unique is the five-way toggle switch on a dual humbucker electric guitar. This gives you some different pickup combinations that also sound vastly different to your standard humbucker. I think these guitars are really great value for money, coming in at 399 US dollars. There's not a lot of great metal guitars at that price point that play as well as these. This is something you don't see every day. This is the Fender Kurt Cobain Jagstang in Fiesta Red. While Kurt Cobain played a number of different guitars in his career, two of his most iconic ones had to have been the Fender Jaguar and the Fender Mustang. And this combines the best elements of both into one guitar called the Jag Stang. It's hard to say, but it looks super cool. These guitars first surfaced back in 1993 when Kurt worked directly with the Fender Custom Shop. I actually think these look really cool. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Here's a guitar by Blackstar. This is a true travel guitar called the Carry On. It's nice, small and compact, and you could easily fit this inside of a suitcase. And trust me, I've done that before, not with this guitar, but another one. But it's great to see a guitar made by Blackstar and Gordon Smith. This is something I've never seen before. Super cool, nice and small, beautiful. One of my favorite amplifiers from Fender when it comes to drive channels is this. This is the Bass Breaker 30. It's a 30 watt combo, and this has one of the most musical sounding overdrive channels that Fender have ever made. This is the equivalent of a Marshall DSL 40. If you're on the fence between a Marshall and the Fender, I would say the Marshall has a little bit more attack and bite on the note, whereas this, this has a bit more of that full round kind of sound that we've all come to know and love. And this, while the configuration, I guess, is similar to that of a Marshall, they do sound very, very different. On the opposite side of the Tweed one is the standard amp. I didn't even see this until I spun around. So this is what they normally look like. And this Tweed one must be some sort of Fender special run. Pretty cool. Here we have a 20 watt desktop amplifier from Yamaha. This is the THR102. 
This gives us 15 different amp models and eight different effects. It also works with bass, which is pretty cool considering its compact size. While I haven't reviewed one of these on the channel, I have had a chance to play one and they have a really big stereo sound. It almost sounds like a produced guitar track. EC Music Center has a massive selection of Blackstar amplifiers, but there's one in particular that caught my eye. When it comes to small, lightweight, and functional practice amplifiers, the Blackstar Debut 10E really checks a lot of boxes. What I really love about this is the fact the clean channel sounds as great as it does, and then we also get a really great dirt channel. This little amplifier inherits the ISF dial, which allows you to get either a typical American or British tone or anywhere in between just by moving that center dial. It's also loaded with a delay effect built directly into the amplifier. Pretty cool. Easy Music Center has a massive selection of Fender guitars, basses, and amplifiers. This is the Fender 68 Pro Reverb Amplifier. It's rated at 40 watts, and it has six L6 output valves, very reminiscent of that of a Hot Rod Deluxe, except it has more of a vintage vibe to it. This isn't a reissue. Even though it says 68 Pro Reverb, this takes inspiration from other Fender amps and repackages it into something that's a little bit more portable and practical that will fill a room no matter where you play. This is a great sounding amplifier without being too heavy, which is always a good thing. If you haven't tried one of these, give them a shot. I really think they're up there with some of the best. Being that the ukulele originated in Hawaii, every guitar shop that we've seen has a big selection of ukes, but this has to be the biggest. Easy Music Center would have to be the go-to location for acoustic guitars, especially if you're a fan of Taylor. They stock so many in here. Just take a look at these walls. This is a massive selection of acoustic guitars. One of the unique things about Hawaii is a lot of acoustic guitar players prefer a composite material guitar, whether that's carbon fiber or some other material. These materials are far more durable when it comes to a humid environment. The guitar in the center is by Lava Music. It's the ME2 FB Blue Lava. Not only is this a carbon fiber body, which doesn't have any problems with humidity, it also features the L2 Freeboost technology, which means you can get effects without plugging into an amplifier. It sounds unreal. A massive thank you to Jericho for doing this on camera for us. I really appreciate it. How about that? That's an acoustic guitar with a reverb effect without needing to plug into an amplifier. What a great design. While I don't play much acoustic guitar these days, when the time's right and I do pull the trigger on a new one, I'll be buying a Taylor GS Mini. I'm a big fan of their compact nature, but aside from their size, they also sound far bigger than they should. The pedal selection is massive. I think when the pedal distributors asked Easy Music Center which ones they'd like to stock in the shop, Easy Music Center just said yes. <laughs> it means they've got just about everything from all brands. One of the pedals that caught my eye was the Voodoo Lab Sparkle Drive mod. I had one of the original ones of these years ago, but they've made some improvements and modifications to this new version that makes it really interesting. I think the biggest thing is you can get all kinds of different voicing and gain structures out of it by using the new center control. With the mod control all the way to the left, you're getting the typical Tube Screamer sound. One, two, and three are different variations. Some add more bass, more gain, more treble, and more mids, making them appeal to different types of musicians playing different genres of music. I think this is a really great pedal. If I had have noticed this on the day instead of just filming, I would have given it a shot. 
AZ Music Center has everything, and I tried to showcase a good mix of stuff that you haven't seen on prior episodes. If you're looking for a Gibson, an Epiphone, a Squire, Fender, Ibanez, Yamaha, this shop has it all. A massive thank you to Peter from Easy Music Center for letting us do this walkthrough. I can highly recommend this shop. It's a massive store. There's just far too much cool stuff to cover in one episode, and I hope you've enjoyed it. A massive thanks also to the subscribers, channel members, and the Patreon crew that helped power this series. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. If we can get this, this to 1,000 thumbs up, that would be awesome. This video is not sponsored. We paid our own way to get here, and I hope you like this series, something different and hopefully a little bit unique. So if you're in the city of Honolulu, go check out Easy Music Center. Catch you on the next video. See ya.